Good morning, you guys. I just, I swear, I've been fine all day, and then as soon as I, like, pull up my camera and ready to film, my allergies kicked in, like, terrible, and then I start sneezing, and... Uh, afternoon. I'm not even gonna say morning. It is currently 1.50, um... And I am just now doing my makeup, which is extremely rare because I don't really need to, well, I should wear makeup because my face is so damn ugly, but, um, I'm the type of person where I'm like, I don't really want to wear makeup. I should say want, not need. I don't really want to wear makeup, but we are doing, we are carving, not doing, we're carving our pumpkins, and so I just wanted to kind of have, like, a little better face, looking face, this afternoon, this evening. So, we're just going to do, like, a quick makeup. It's not going to be anything, like, crazy. And what I mean by, like, not anything crazy, I'm not putting on, I'm not putting on my primer. I'm still going to do everything pretty much the same. So, I'm going to get started, and I'm going to see how long this takes me. It's currently 1.56, I'll check in when I'm all done. <laughs> totally got mascara in my hair. I also don't do my brows. I think I've mentioned that before, but I do comb them out. I need to get them, I need to get them waxed. Just curled my hair yesterday, so it just kind of has like that leftover curl. Spray some of this in my hair, even though it truly doesn't need it. I just washed my hair yesterday, but I like that it gives me volume, kind of. This stuff doesn't give me that much volume. I believe it's the Herbal Essence brand. That gives me a lot, a lot of volume. I just really love the smell of this. This smells like you just walked out of a salon. Um, but like I said, I didn't really need it. I just washed my hair yesterday. But honestly, I'll probably, probably throw a hat on. If I'm being honest, because it's cold. Here's some better lighting. My bathroom lighting is so freaking terrible. But I like the mascara. It's a little, it might be a little clumpy. Some people might not like it at all. Um, I like it. Uh, I need to throw some clothes on because I'm still on my jammies. And go get the kids. before we are going to be carving pumpkins and so I'm just going to show you guys a quick grocery haul um it honestly isn't that big we have our meal plan up here with these like pretty like dry erase paint markers so I have um what I plan on feeding the littles for lunch and then our dinners and we have a lot of leftovers so we're having a roast again except for this time we're gonna do like french dip um so we're gonna do that again and then I'll probably film that and post it with our Halloween vlog. And then we're gonna have leftover, leftover roast and just have like a side of noodles or whatever. We have had rice hot dish on our meal plan for so long and we just keep skipping over it. So we're doing it this week. We're gonna have rice hot dish. Leftovers, big ziti, leftovers. So that is our meals. And so I'm just gonna get started. Gage picked this out. It's marshmallow crispies. Personally, I think it's too strong of a smell. Like it's too candy smelling, but but it smells just like fruity pebbles. Just like fruity pebbles. Charles needed diapers, uh, water diapers, and then instead of juice, we're switching to Yahoo. Personally, I don't drink Yahoo. I love Yahoo. Are you who? Yahoo. Is it, do you see a Yahoo? Where's your A? Yeah, Yahoo. Anyways, Yahoo. Okay. And then we have this Jiffy Pop, Texas Toast, these mini apple pies, and what are those? Two. The beef and cheese we, taquitos. 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 Uh, two gallons of milk. We didn't pick up Charlie milk because he don't need any. No. He doesn't? Okay. Um, we have our rump roast that we're going to need. And then we actually already have hamburger in the fridge or freezer. We just needed another pound. Some string cheese, some go-gurt for the kids. Hard salami. Gage said we were actually pretty good on our deli meat, but 
one of the meals up there is like a homemade Lunchable, and I want to make sure there's enough meat for the kids and Gage. So we have hard salami, that's Weston's favorite. Raspberry lemonade, I actually drank all of my other one, like, good, so. Another one of those, and if I'm being honest, one thing that really bugs me is like everything is all out of like order. Like I'd rather keep all of the fruit together and the cold stuff together and the non-cold stuff, but I just took it out of the bags. Okay, cinnamon rolls. We are having cinnamon cinnamon rolls and sausage for breakfast tomorrow for Halloween. Um, and then picked up three of these um, clear net lights because we're gonna start decorating for. Christmas and we're gonna decorate our whole front porch. So we needed these um, And then we have classic Alfredo meat hunt sauce Fruit snacks our bread um, These are the sub rolls that got squished, but these are what we're gonna use for our French dip The only thing that Walmart did not have and we forgot was Swiss cheese to put on and then um, Au jus sauce. I know you could just use like the sauce from like the crock pot, but for some reason that au jus sauce just tastes so much better with it um, So we got picked up two of those and then we picked up some bagels um, Penne noodles. These are so good super Pretzel soft sticks these lean cuisines that I've been looking for for a long time finally found them um, Doritos spicy nacho the little bites. These are so easy in the mornings with the kids the banana muffins um you already know because it's bomb. These are also really nice in the morning too. These are sausage biscuits and super affordable and the kids love them. This is a must every week. Apple, cinnamon, fruit grain bars. It switches up between like apple, strawberry, mm -hmm. Swiss rolls as a treat, pastaroni chicken. This is what I'm going to make for the leftover sides with the roast. Cheddar cheese crackers and then we have... I personally like these sausages over this one. The kids like these ones. So I got the big bag for them. And then Gage and I will just have these ones. Um, some apples. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought that was funny. But we bought two of them. Uh, peeled apples and regular apples. But you know what? I wanted to make um, that fall recipe. And I need these apples and not like the already peeled ones. So at both of those, we have the Mott's applesauce pouches. Usually we like the great value kind, but they didn't have any. Au gratin potatoes. Personally, I would rather make like the potatoes and the scalp potatoes homemade, but that is just so, it's so much work. And on a Sunday, it's just like a relaxed day. So we just picked this up. Super quick and simple to make. Pringles. I'm pretty sure Gage just bought this because it has Rick and Morty on it. Yep, I gotta try them. Um, we have blueberries. It's bananas. We have ramen, creamy, and just regular chicken flavor. We have the frozen sugar cookie dough. We have cottage cheese, a big thing of Fiesta blend cheese. Like I said, we still need to get Swiss cheese. Um, and then we have eggnog. So that is pretty much all of the food and then we have I like to pick these up for Charlie I I've said it before I like him to have these pouches they're a little bit different than the Mott's like this is just applesauce this has like a variety of fruits in it and I like him to have one every single morning so I pick up like five four or five um, okay non-food related stuff the whoa. <laughs> it's what are you making I'm just oh eating my food. we have the downy ball we picked up the downy sorry, ball. Buddy. It's super affordable. It's only like $2. Um, our washer does not have a softener dispenser. Is that what it's called? And so this is pretty much the same thing. Exactly the same thing. You pour your softener in here, pull it, and then it knows when to release. Anyways, so we picked up the downy ball. Um, and then picked up a hair mask. It's so herbal essence, argan oil, and aloe. Um, I picked one that Gage also liked the smell too because he likes to do a hair mask on his beard and the little bit of hair that you have now, um, now that my camera's out of focus. And then I really wanted a good face mask and they are so hard to find, but this is just a Shea Moisture Clarifying Mud Mask. Um, Gage also picked up this Shea Moisture Beard Wash 
and then I needed more dry shampoo. I wanted to, like I said, go with the herbal essence, but they did not have any herbal essence. Um, so we're just gonna try this collab dry shampoo. And then picked up this hemp oil body wash. This is the one Gage liked. He said he wants to try this one out, and I'm pretty sure mine is almost out, so we can just use the same one. It doesn't really bother me. Um, you're being crazy. And then we picked up Noah, the sh flannel shirt with a hood gage picked this up for maya it's just like the sweatsuit so so yeah that was everything that we got for walmart drippy beef sandwiches and I showed it on my Instagram a week ago and we are wanting to make it again so what we do is we season the round so you need a round rump roast some people will sear this in a pan before they put it in the crock pot we do not um, but we season it with garlic onion brown sugar and bourbon. bourbon onion powder garlic powder and then Gage said he wants to try this the only thing we forgot to get for ingredients but it doesn't really matter is diced onions um but it's completely fine so we're gonna season the meat beef boiling cubes and then and then you're going to need just one pack of Lipton onion soup we get the beef flavor this is what it'll look like um, if you try this out this is what you're looking for at the store it doesn't have to be beefy onion you can just do regular um, but we like to have that extra flavor then you're going to stick your rump roast into the crock pot and then for the water you're just gonna go halfway up um, the roast, right? Yep, halfway right. up. And it's not a pot roast. What you're looking for is a rump roast. Is a bottom rump roast, just a rump roast, not a pot roast. Um, so yeah, you're gonna fill the water to about halfway, and then we're gonna put our three beef boiling cubes into the crock pot. Just wherever, honestly. And then we're going to add our one pack of the beefy onion, Lipton onion soup, and not on top of the roast, um, in the water. So you could honestly do it before if you wanted to. Have to mix it, but we like to make sure that all of the, all of the, oh, I hate that sound, all of the powder is down in there. And then we are going to put this on high for about five hours. Oops. We're gonna put it on high for five hours and then we will check it. So I have started making the au jus gravy. Like I said, this is totally up to you. You can use the juice from the crock pot, but personally we like to make the au jus on the side. You have to keep whisking it, whisking it. Um, this is the one we get, McCormick au jus gravy. You can actually add some flour to it to thicken it up, but I'm gonna mix this gravy together and I think Gage is gonna start, um, do you wanna start pull, pulling? Pulling the meat apart? Yeah. Absolutely. That's what your roast is gonna look like. You're just gonna take it and you're, it should. Well, I'm gonna pull it apart in here, yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. Um, it should just pull apart.
going to be using just these sub sandwich rolls because we're going to be doing French dips. Um, you can also use just normal buns. And then we're going to add Swiss cheese on the top of them. And this is what it looks like with the cheese. You can put whatever you want on it and then you just dip, dip it. it in the au jus. Hey you guys, I am going to end this vlog. Gage and I actually ended our Sunday night with doing like a face mask. I convinced him to do a face mask. I did a cute little video over on our TikTok. So definitely go follow us over on there and also go follow us over on our Instagram and Facebook. I will leave all those links down below. I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you in our next video. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands. I met friends on the way people chosen to make a stand. I felt strong in the sun as I walked onto Passers Green.